Advocates and volunteers helping migrants in D.C. are calling upon Mayor Muriel Bowser to have a plan on how to offer continued support. The district, again, denied help from the National Guard not once but twice. Sierra Fox is live in northeast D.C. with more on where they're being placed to live. Sierra. Right now, migrants being bused here to the nation's capital from Texas and Arizona are staying at the Hampton Inn in Days Inn, which is near Union Market. According to their advocates, they tell me that 85 to 90 percent of them will move elsewhere in the United States, but that other 10 to 15 percent plan to continue to live here in D.C. The migrants who are staying are staying here permanently, and they want to be able to contribute to D.C. and our DMV the DMV area and just all the ways that uh, we as local residents do as well. Uh, we really would like to see the mayor stop ignoring the situation and put the adequate resources necessary to fully address it. Ashley is an organizer with the Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network. It's a coalition of 20 DMV area groups helping migrants with daily necessities like rent assistance, transportation, and even translation services. So far, 5,500 asylum seekers have arrived to the nation's capital from Texas and Arizona as a result of the governors of those states protesting the Biden administration's immigration policies. Buses have been coming in since April, and now advocates and volunteers are demanding answers about what is being done to support the 5,500 migrants who have made it to D.C. so far. Advocates and volunteers say these families are not receiving the care or resources typically offered to unhoused residents in the city. For example, since migrants are living in hotels, they are not able to access case managers and provide proof of residency, which makes it impossible to apply for things like health insurance. On top of that, some migrants say they have been discriminated against or receive rude treatment from hotel staff and security. However, in certain cases, they acknowledge that the language barrier partially plays a role in any confusion. In a press conference Monday, D.C.'s mayor was asked, what is the long-term plan for these migrants? Right now, we're dealing with a, a politically motivated uh, policy emergency, and we think it can be a crisis in our city. That's why we've asked for fed federal support, uh, and we will continue to do that. We think that cities alone can't solve a broken immigration system. I checked in with the mayor's office today for more clarity. They did not give any specific details about what is next for these migrants. However, they did say they will start to enroll the children in public school. Back to you.